Okay, here we go. Welcome, my factoring friends. Um, this is 4.2. I absolutely love factoring. So I think what you should do in this is watch the video, remember that, oh yeah, I do know what I'm doing, and then try these examples without watching the video. See if you can do them, check with mine, and then go ahead and start on the other questions. The more you do of these, the more you absolutely love them and the easier they'll be to use in grade 12. Okay, here we go. Don't worry about all these things that they say. Factor using the method of decomposition. We don't care. We are going to use the easy method for absolutely everything we can. So here we go. Uh, two factors that times together to give us 2x squared. So 2x and x, that's our only choice. 6, I'm going to pick 3 and 2. They've got to be positive. So let's see. 4x plus 3x gives me, yes, 7x. And that's the middle term. That's what I want. So I picked correctly. The first time. You're going to find that a lot of times you just pick naturally the right one and that's why this is the greatest method. And you noticed yesterday probably I missed a lot of equal signs. Okay, sorry I'll try to put them in. Okay, this guy. 5x and x is our only choice. 2 and 1 is our only choice. Has to be plus. Let's see what happens. 5x plus 2x. Yes, 7x. I haven't practiced these. This is just probably what you would also naturally pick. Equals. Okay, here we go. Next one. Um, I'm going to pick 3 and 2. So 3x and 2x. 3 and 1 is our only choice. We have to have a positive and negative. Let's see what we got. Plus 6x. Take away 3. No, that's not going to work. How yeah. about if we have... How about if we have 6x and 1x? Um, 6 and 3. No, that's not going to work. What about if we change this and we do the 1 and 3 like that? Whoops, they both can't be negative. Positive and negative. That'll give me negative 6x plus x gives me negative... 17x, which is good, but I need it to be positive. So switch the signs. And now plus, uh, plus 18x minus x. Yes. Yay. So 6x minus 1 and x plus 3. So again, it's going to be a mess. That's fine. And you should just guess. Don't try to think it through. It's way faster. Just guess, and sometimes things will come to you, and just do it. Okay, so here I'm going to do 3n and n, 4 and 2, plus and minus. Minus 6 plus 4, yes. 3n plus 4 and n minus 2. This one, how about 4 and 3? And 1 and 1 is our only choice. They both have to be negative. And I'm going to get negative 7. That's not going to work. How about 6x and 2x? And negative 6x minus 2x gives me, yes, negative 8x. Hooray! 6x minus 1 and 2x minus 1. Okay, this one. Um, how about 5 and 3? And 2 and 1's our only option, so 2y. And just y, they've got to be opposite signs, so plus and minus, negative 5 and plus 2. That's not going to work. What if I switch? What if I go 3 and 5? Plus 10, y, take away 3y is going to be plus 7y, so if I switch the signs. And now negative 10 plus 3, yes, gives me negative 7 for the coefficient. And we have the answer, 3 minus 2y and 5 plus y. Next one. Oh, I can take out a 5. That's going to make my life easier. You can factor from here and take it out later. 
but it just makes it much nicer if you take it out to begin with. You have smaller numbers. So 3k plus k minus 2, and now, whoops, k squared. 3k and k, that's my only choice. 2 and 1, that's my only choice. Plus and minus, see if it works. Nope, that'll give me negative k, so switch my signs. And negative and plus, and there we go. 3k minus 2 and k plus 1. Okay, all of those are ones you've done before. These are also ones you've done before. I'm just going to slide that up. Um, now they're going to put two letters in. That is not a big deal, but it makes it look scarier, I guess. So 2x and x, 2y and y, uh, minus and minus so that we can have a negative in the middle. Negative 2, negative 2 is going to give me negative 4. That's not going to work. How about if I switch these around? So negative y and negative 2y. Negative 2, negative 4, xy, and negative xy gives me negative 5xy. So yay. 2x minus y and x minus 2y. And keep in mind, you check diagonally to see if you've got the right factor in the middle, but your answer is straight across. Okay, this one, let's do 2, n, and n. 35, how about 5 and 7? n, and n, plus and minus. So negative 14 and plus 5, that's not going to work. How about switch them? 7n and 5n plus and minus. That's going to give me negative 10 and plus 7 gives me, yes, negative 3nn. And you can see the letters will work themselves out nice and easily. So 2n plus 7m and n minus 5n. Okay, next page. Here we go. Oh, perfect square trinomials. This is just a nice definition to know when they ask you, is it a perfect square or not? But as far as their process, I would not do it that way at all. Just do it how we've been doing it. So which of the following are perfect squares? So all that means is factor and then see if you have two factors that are exactly the same. So we're going to have a and a, 2 and 2, plus and plus, and plus 2a, plus 2a is plus 4a. So we've got the exact same factor, so we could write a plus 2, and we could write it again if we wanted, times a plus 2, or let's just write it easy, a plus 2, all of that squared. So this is a perfect square trinomial. Hooray! Uh, let's do this one. Can we factor out something? No. Okay. So how about 4 and 4? Well, and these you know are going to be identical. So pick the one that is the square root of those and see if it works. And plus and plus 20. 20 gives us the 40, so yay. 4 plus 5x, all of that squared. Oh, this is a cool one. Okay, so two options on this. 1 third and 1 third, A and A. This one, let's split 3B and 3B. So I'm going to get, this will be, oh, i got to put in some signs, negative, negative. This will be negative AB, because remember, we're timesing fractions, so this will be 1 third times negative 3 over 1, top times top over bottom times bottom, and then reduce. So we'll have negative 1 AB, and negative 1 AB gives us negative 2 AB. So equals 1 third A minus 3 B, all of that squared. Or, let's just use this little space right here. We could factor out a 1 ninth if you didn't want to work with the fraction. 
I think it's easiest just work with the fraction, but sometimes you're just going to feel like you don't want to, so pull it out. 1 ninth, so divide by 1 ninth leaves us with a squared. This divided by 1 ninth is really times by 9 over 1, so negative 18ab, and then times by, so if we're dividing by 1 ninth times by 9 over 1 gives us 81b squared. And now a and a, 9 and 9b, and we need both of those negative. Negative 9ab, negative 9ab gives us negative 18ab in the middle. So we're done. And don't lose this guy. So equals 1 ninth a minus 9b squared. Whoops. Squared. There we go. Okay, these are so fun. You'll like them in your book. Do 3 to 7 and 11 to 16. Happy face for you. We'll see you on Monday.